What's up, YouTube? What's in Fan 15? Uh, back with another mail day. It's going to be a long one. That's what she said. Uh, starting off, my cousin Phil uh, got me a couple more of these uh, jumbo uh, retail composite pack things. Uh, did manage to get a card for the PC. Uh, I believe this is 1998 Topps uh, Torrance Small. The previous holder of 87 before Reggie Wayne, who I imagine will end up being the last holder of the number. I, I, I can't see how they don't retire his jersey, uh, considering he'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer and whatnot. And uh, so that was the highlight of one pack, and then just to keep this thing moving, the highlight of the other pack is one of my uh, favorite cards from this particular set, the 1983 Topps Greg Maddox uh, action shot. That along with the uh, Frank Thomas from that set are some very good examples of uh, that era baseball uh, card. Uh, start off with the stuff from the uh, Stratford Shoe. Uh, just a few uh, Huddy cards. Uh, I've got the uh, the regular Bowman, Bowman Chrome from this year, then 2010 Bowman Chrome, Bowman Chrome Refractor. And then a 2014 Bowman uh, Gold to 50. I have seen this card go for like seven bucks. I got it for I think I got three of these cards for a dollar. So uh, awesome there. Uh, moving on to the rest, which is all Colts. Uh, Reggie Wayne score scorecard parallel 2014. Uh, 2014 Prestige Robert Mathis draft class of 2003 draft day standouts. Uh, Reggie Wayne Bowman Black Parallel Doodad here uh, from the same set die cut and a T.Y. Hilton die cut. Marvin Harrison uh, 2001 Bowman. Uh, they did this set uh, with these uh, sort of throwback uh, deals for I guess years that they were not making Bowman football kind of. Uh, Highlighting the top rookie cards from the individual classes. Uh, hot rookies. Parallel Dante Moncrief. Uh, blue, I don't know if this is the blue parallel or just the subset is blue for Colts or whatnot, but franchise Andrew Luck. Hot rookies. Uh, Robert Mathis scorecard out of 99. A 2001 uh, Reggie Wayne Bowman rookie card. Not the repro. A uh, 2013 Tops. I think this is probably one of those retail blaster hit jerseys. Kobe Flaner. Upper Deck Star Materials Marvin Harrison jersey. Portraits Reg Reggie Wayne jersey. SPX Reggie Wayne jersey, Kobe Fleener gridiron uh, crown cutout out of 299, Topps Prime dual jersey, one white, one blue uh, to 235 of Dwayne Allen, SP Rookie Threads Joseph Adai, two color, one color patch. Anthony Costanzo, Rookie Auto, 6 out of 499 from Timeless Treasures. Press Pass, Sports Town Edition, Kobe Fleener, Rookie On Card, Auto, out of 99. And then as part of the uh, Hudson Gold Parallel pickup was this uh, 2014 Prism Orange uh, Auto, one tw out of 125, Dante Moncrief. Quick note to those in the Connecticut area, if you have been going to the uh, Stratford, Connecticut show, uh, my friend Lenny, who had been running it for the last couple of years, has decided to step down. Uh, he's trying to get on a five-year plan to get he and his wife out of the state of Connecticut because of her medical issues. Uh, she's got, uh, unfortunately... Uh, long-term battle with Lyme disease and uh, environmental is a big mitigating factor for for her so uh, they're trying she's now officially on disability and now they're going to try to get her uh, out of the state so that uh, they can control some of the environmental factors that uh, make her 
issues worse. Uh, but those of you who, who go to shows around the Connecticut, New York area, uh, if you know Fred, the uh, supply guy, I dropped $28 worth of supplies uh, with him. A lot of the stuff that you've already seen is from, from him, uh, the holders rather. Uh, he is taking over that show. It is an institution in Southern Connecticut. And uh, starting the first week in December, the first Sunday in December uh, after uh, the Thanksgiving holiday, so I believe that's the 7th, I want to say. Uh, make your uh, make your way down to the Stratford Show, cash in hand. Uh, they're going back to hourly door prizes, and instead of doing um, just tangible goods or whatever, uh, they're going back to the system of having uh, gift certificates for dealers in the room. So uh, you'd have like basically a $25 credit that they just credit back to the... Um, the dealers against the cost of their tables to uh, then spend at their table. So uh, and then deals go from there. So uh, definitely a good idea. To try to stop down. It's gonna be dollar admission, and uh, you know if you stay there long enough, it's, you know obviously they're hoping you spend money while you're there, and uh, you get chances at uh, free money. So who can beat that? All right, uh, on the eBay pickups, uh, got some cold stuff. I didn't have much until today, and then three of these cards came in. Uh, 25 out of 25, this year's playbook, Dante Moncrief. Two-color patch. Uh, one of my favorite insert sets, parallel sets of all time, the uh, certified Mirror Emerald. This is the 2011 certified uh, Mirror, Mirror Emerald uh, two-color prime, number five of five, Reggie Wayne. There's the five of five. Uh, very similar sentiment to Wenzel888. If you didn't watch his video uh, recently, please go do that. Uh, one and done with this set. I'm not going to go chase gemstones or anything like that, but um, did want to get one autograph from this set. Uh, Reggie Wayne, uh, 2014 Panini Flawless on card auto number 10. I asked the uh, guy who sells the boxes at the show if he was going to buy into it, and he chuckled and said no. It uh, doesn't seem like it's his kind of clientele that would be buying that stuff. And finally, 2014 Prestige. Uh, I have the Mirror Black 1 of 1 uh, from the Certified of this year, so uh, when this one came up, I won it for the minimum, so why not? Uh, Magenta Hakeem next printing plate. So I, I don't hold out much hope that he's going to re-sign with the team. I think he's he's probably one of those one-and-done kind of guys, but uh, girl can hope, right? Um, next one is a couple of uh, one UFC pickup. The guy threw this in as an extra. Uh, 2013 Bloodlines, Clay Guida. And he threw that in the extra because he was sending me the uh, Platinum 1 of 1 Parallel. I had offered it this several times, and finally the guy broke down and took my offer and came down from the holy shit stratosphere that he was operating in. So uh, I do not have many Clay Guida one of ones, so that is uh, that is a big addition to the Clay Guida PC. And the rest is all huddy. As you can see, I went a little nuts. Uh, the f t uh, Diamond Anniversary, this is 2011. Factory set limited edition parallel of Huddy. It's a dollar shipped, so. But I did not have that parallel. I I'd seen it, and I don't know that I ever had it. I think this is a limited to 245 production, which is an odd number. Uh, this card had been relisted and relisted and relisted, and finally the guy just said screw it and put it up for a dollar, and I think I want it for just a few bucks. Uh, 2008. Upper Deck Premier uh, Base Set Parallel 4 of 15. Still would love to find and own the 101 of that. I, I don't know if it's, it's ever been discovered, but uh, I did not know this card existed so that, until uh, a couple months ago, and then I missed one, and then this one popped up at auction. Uh, 79 of 99 Spectrum Dual Swatches. Uh, two gray for John Smoltz, two white for Tim Hudson. So a quad mem card. Uh, back to the uh, some of the Panini Immaculates. Uh, three more of the triple jerseys, number to 49. These are 13, 20, and 38. 
just love this set, love the design of it, love that they put Huddy in it in a few places, both this insert set and uh, did get the upgrade that I spoke about in a previous video, 4 of 20, this is a 4 color if you want to call the two different whites, two different colors, uh, patch. This is one of those, I saw it, I decided, you know what, I'm not screwing around this time, and grabbed it. So, very good there. Uh, two, number down to 75, 2004 Fleer EX, clearly Authentics, three color patch. That is a reminder alarm. Stop it. Reminder alarm to do something. All right, next up, uh, 2012. Uh, triple Threads, uh, commemorating the Comeback Player of the Year Award. Uh, this is the Sapphire Parallel 1 of 3 3 color patch. There we are. On to the autos. Uh, I believe this was the first auto of his I ever got, and uh, this one popped up quick by it now, so. I thought it was a pretty good example. Uh, 2001 Sweet Spot Signatures on Ball Auto. I love the people who see this go for the price that it went for and then immediately post uh, another copy of it for three times as much. It makes absolutely no sense to me. Uh, also 79 out of 99. Uh, this is the 2013 Tops Tier 1 Crowd Pleaser on Card Auto. Got uh, 2007 Upper Deck Black Game Day Lineup, 19 of 50, sticker auto. I'm waiting on uh, another, one of the, another one of these cards, this auto from uh, the Box Score variant. Uh, 38 of 50, uh, on card auto. This is the, uh, I believe this is going to be a 2003, I want to say. It's a 2002 card. But this is the Recollection Collection Buyback On Card Auto. They put the silver stamp up top. They have the signature. There's a, a little uh, over here by my thumb. There's a little uh, imprint. And then they add the serial number to the back. So uh, for those of you who are a fan of the Panini blog, they are doing that set uh, again, but it's specifically old Jeter coming up. Uh, I'm not sure how those are going to be distributed yet, but keep an eye on the Panini blog for that because that's going to be a monster release. Uh, however, those make it out into the population. Uh, all Steiner certified as well, which that's the official uh, company that handles all the Yankees merch here in the Northeast. Uh, 2014 uh, Tops Tribute Sepia Parallel, number 3035 on card auto. Two thousand nine Upper Deck Spectrum Jersey Auto nine of twenty five. Going back to the two thousand eight premiere, I had not seen one of these in at least four years, so I was determined I was going to get it. And I got it for the minimum. The guy put it up for, yeah, you know, probably if if you go through the aggregate of everything that I all, all of them that I have, and I've got. I think 11, and this makes 12. I might be off one plus or minus of these autos, but um, yeah, this is just such a phenomenal set and uh, a product. I was, I know a, a number of breaks I was in over the years for this stuff, and uh, again, I'd love to know that there's a, a one of one out there of this that I can get. But the 2008 Upper Deck Premiere uh, autograph, 20 of 25. Fourteen out of fifteen. This is tribute, but two thousand thirteen on card auto. And now we're getting into the deep waters. Um, I originally had offered at this card. The guy said I'm going to let it run its course, and it finished within three dollars of what I offered. So, uh, but he threw in an extra, and, and, I, and I isn't you know very polite about the whole thing. He just chose not to do it, but I'll still give him a quick plug because I put the business card in here as well. Uh, Andrew, uh, eat or better Drew. Kind of a slick looking business card there. So, link to his uh, page will be in the box. He threw in uh, this uh, 2014 uh, Bowman Chrome 
blue, bubbly sort of parallel out of 99. Which, I mean, he could have you know, put this card up and sold it for four or five bucks on its own. But he threw it in. With the 2013 tri uh, Triple Threads, Lil Timmy, uh, Jersey Patch Jersey, one of one. So I, I'm not, I think that's going to be a ruby parallel, just based off of the ruby hue to the back. But that is a phenomenal addition. And uh, again, thank you, uh, Drew, for the extra. Very much appreciated. Uh, last eBay pickup. Um, this is uh, K. Bryman on eBay. And uh, he actually owned a card store in the Kennesaw, Georgia area. Uh, Drew at Lefty NDV10 uh, works for the rival and knows of him and whatnot. This is a card that uh, Drew had tried to purchase for me and couldn't get a deal done. Nick uh, Mizzing95 uh, tried to get this card for me at Nationals, couldn't get a deal done. Um, but I finally worked out a deal with this guy. It was the day after the World Series, so uh, may have been a little bit of euphoria and whatnot in in him in Huddy getting the World Series finally that he's waited all these years to get. Uh, but this is the 2005 Leaf Certified Materials uh, Mirror Black one of one. I don't want to call this an Eleanor, but uh, it's definitely uh, it was on the short list of cards that I knew existed, were out there, and were just beyond reach for a very long time. So uh, that is excellent, Brian. I, it was excellent to, to speak to. He had me just call him as opposed to trying to trade messages back and forth, and um, it's very quick conversation. We just got the deal done, so that was. Uh, that was pretty good. And finally, uh, these guys, RBI Crew 7. Links in the description box. Just put up a video. Uh, go watch it. A lot of fun. Love seeing these things. Um, I'm at work. I get a message from Ryan. Uh, hey, got a uh, guy walks in, has a bunch of uh, stuff. He basically cracks and then just has been sitting on it for years and has decided to finally you know, part with some of it. There are two cards in the batch that I think are uh, important that you get first crack at, so I appreciate uh, the connection, the opportunity to get it. Uh, that's what these guys are all about. Uh, Ryan, good luck with the new house and all. Uh, I can't wait to see all the coverage of Sausage Fest 2014. But uh, And then he put it up on Facebook, and I start getting inundated with messages from all of you guys who follow them on Facebook. Uh, please follow them on Facebook. And... Uh, very politely responding back to we had a deal done before it was ever posted so uh, he made sure that's you know that's just how he rolls so the first card is uh, 2008 Topps Moments and Milestones uh, Black Parallel Auto 3 of 25 and the 2005, and I did not know this card existed in this parallel, so this is this is really excellent. 2005 Re Reflections, uh, dual, cut from the same cloth, dual jersey, Rich Harden, Tim Hudson, one of one. I mean, I hadn't even seen a patch version of this in years, but to then find a, a one of one that pops up out of nowhere like this is a great deal. Uh, great, great job by them. Uh, Ryan facilitated the payment, so uh, there was no, there were no issues there. Uh, he's, he's acted as an intermediary on my behalf for a number of deals. Uh, second one of one this year, I believe, that he's managed to procure for me. So uh, for whatever reason, they just keep sending Tim Hudson cards right around that St. Louis area. Don't know what the math is that adds up to that happening, but. Uh, still a, a great job by him uh, getting that done and he never told me the seller's name technically but um, shout out to him as well so uh, I want to thank Ryan, Neil uh, Magdorn the whole RBI Crew 7 fam 
uh, dogs and cats and whatnot. Uh, oh my, uh, Brian K. Bryman uh, on eBay. Uh, Andrew, Peter Better Drew, for uh, their kind uh, work and deals and consideration and whatnot. On a final note, uh, I have waited. Hi there. How are you? I have waited uh, since I first pulled a Tim Hudson base card from 2000 Tops uh, as I was uh, leaving a friend's store who just opened up that I ended up working for years later. Uh, and I've told the story a number of times uh, and, and decided as, as I'm reading through the statistics on the back of the cards that, hey, what the hell, I'll go, I'll collect this guy Tim Hudson. Uh, that one card is morphed into I, again I, I need to just have a full on slacker weekend and do another count because I've lost track again uh, but probably pushing about 5,000 Tim Hudson cards uh, well over 100 probably 140 plus or minus one of ones uh, and some monster mem stuff including that thing hanging up on the wall thanks again Chad uh, to uh, see him win a World Series and watch him on some very good teams that were just ill-fated, some uh, some teams that uh, underperformed, some teams that were you know, plagued with injuries, including one year where they, I, I think the Braves had a very good shot, and then he himself got hurt, and then their pitching staff went to shit for about six weeks. And so for him, they have a World Series under his belt, Um I don't think solidifies a Hall of Fame candidacy uh, because while his stats are very comparable to a pitcher like Roy Halladay, who I do believe will be elected to Hall of Fame, uh, he Tim Hudson was never the do single dominant pitcher in really any one year, uh, and he doesn't have the strikeout totals or the wins to back it up, and that's what these uh, antiquated uh, voters for the Hall of Fame use as their benchmarks for gauging a pitcher's performance. They are they are stuck with these milestone achievements uh, from years past that don't adequately reflect the modern game. And I think by the time they cycle out, age out, uh, or morph their opinions, it'll probably be too late for a guy like Huddy as far as his eligibility goes. Um, Plus, there's going to be a lot of players graduating into that class over the next few years that uh, do certainly deserve it, but that will be under a tremendous amount of scrutiny on, on who they're electing, how many, and uh, they, they don't want to make it a hall of everybody. They want to keep it a, a hall of fame. And uh, short of the Giants repeating again next year so that he can be a two-time World Series winning pitcher and having a more productive postseason, um, I don't see how he, he makes it. But that is not to say that I'm not going to stop collecting him. I'm, I'm far from it. Uh, I, it is something I truly enjoy, and I, and I like uh, the camaraderie of being in a community like ours that uh, affords uh, friendships uh, built on a solid foundation of cardboard. <laughs> but... Uh, just he has a player. That's that's my personal opinion on where he stands from a career standpoint. Uh, I believe he will hang it up after uh, this current contract. I believe he's the kind of guy who will honor the second year of the contract. He fought for a second year uh, added to a contract, and uh, I believe he'll go through with it. And uh, then he'll ride off into the sunset from uh, wherever they finish next season. But uh, that. I don't think he can get done when he needs to get done in a single year to have the statistics to make it. But uh, it's a hell of a ride, and it's a lot better than uh, if I decided to collect the uh, the young left-hander, Barry Zito, or the other member of the big three, Mark Mulder. Not to say that they didn't have tangible baseball careers or whatnot, but uh, of that crew, uh, Tim Hudson has had uh, the best of that. And, uh, you know, who knows? We'll, we'll see how many times they keep including him in new products. Uh, I'm sure when he does finally announce his retirement, I'll, there'll be a deluge of, of fair weather collectors who decide that they don't want to collect him anymore because of a lot of what I've just outlined. 
and uh, I'll have a lot of fun with that. But, uh, again, if anybody's got any opinions on the subject, I'd love to hear it. And uh, just feel free to comment below. All right, YouTube, peace.